guys, it is currently 7.22 and I'm getting Ryan ready for school. Madison isn't dressed yet, she's still in pajamas. I usually don't ever get her dressed. I usually keep her in pajamas. When we get back home, I usually will get her dressed and ready. But she has therapy today and she has a really long session. Don't go in the trash. Um, she has a really long session today because she missed Monday session. So she has to make that up. So instead of just 30 minutes, she has like an hour and 45 minutes, which sucks because I have a lot of things to do today, but that is okay. Um, Ryan's Valentine's bags, we finished last night. Let me turn the light on. So here are all his Valentine bags for his classmates. But yeah, I'm gonna start breakfast and pack his lunch. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Also, Ryan, I put a cute little Valentine shirt on him. It's super cute. I had to put a long sleeve underneath because it is short sleeve and it's cold out. Madison has a Valentine shirt as well, but it's also short sleeve. So I had to find a long sleeve like solid teeth to put underneath but yeah what else we're we gonna do today i also have to go back to walmart to exchange something and then i need to work out again and i don't know what else we're gonna do today i'm gonna try to clean as well today but we'll see what we get into can i see your shirt stand up straight it's valentine's shirt it says mr love machine what are you a little mouse or a kitty cat you ready for school are you excited for Valentine's? Yeah. You're gonna get Valentine cards from your friends. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, back up so they can and see your shirt. Bags. And goodie bags. And Madison's still and in pajamas. She doesn't have her hers on yet. All right, we gotta go. Okay. Can I see? Hey, can you see your your Valentine shirt? Oh, it's so pretty. Is it pretty? Can I see? Oh, mommy can't bend. Can I see? Play with it so everyone can see it. At home, I just changed into some. Workout clothes, it is currently at almost 12, 15, 12, 10. I wanna hurry up, see if I can get this workout in as quickly as possible. And then me and Madison will eat some lunch. And then I wanna to run to Kroger and Dollar Tree since it is Valentine's. Um, I was planning on going to Dollar Tree anyways because I wanted to buy the kids a Valentine's balloon because Madison loves balloons and then Ryan loves balloons as well. What kid doesn't? But I also wanted to stop by Kroger because I completely forgot a while ago when we went to Kroger, there was like a little dinosaur plush toy that came with, I don't know what kind of candy, came with some type of candy. And Ryan really wanted that. And I told him and I had promised him that I was gonna get him that for Valentine's. And I completely forgot about it. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be there because it's Valentine's today. So I'm still going to cross my fingers. I'm gonna go and see if I can find it. If I find it, I will buy it for him. If I don't find it, then he's probably gonna be upset, but he'll still get his chocolate, that little puppy that I showed you guys previously in another video, and a balloon, but I'm really hoping I find that dinosaur. I shouldn't have promised, it's my fault, I shouldn't have promised him that I would get it for him because I know me and I know I always forget things and I forgot, so that's what we're gonna do. And then it'll be time to pick up Brian from school by that time. Then once I get back home, I definitely need to clean this house and I am going to unbox my ring light today. I've been wanting to do it and I haven't had time. Today I'm gonna unbox it for sure and then I'll probably show you what I got Robert um, for Valentine's. We usually give each other something small. We're not that type of couple that goes all out. I know some couples give these extravagant gifts for Valentine's. We're just not that couple. We don't do it. We've never done it that way but we do give each other something small. So he usually always gets me like flowers, my favorite candy, and like maybe something else. But yeah, we don't do anything like too extravagant. Um, he knows I'm wanting to work out more and I get super motivated if I have new workout clothes or a new workout bottle, water bottle or something. So he bought me a pair of um, Under Armour workout shoes, sneakers, and then he got me like two workout tank tops. So I'm super excited for that because I love getting new stuff. So that was my Valentine's gift from him to me. And then I got him a shirt and then I think some chocolates. I'm not sure. I put it in like this cute little Valentine's box. I'll show you guys probably later on. But let me just get this workout out of the way. I'm not gonna film it because I filmed yesterday when I worked out. So I'll see you guys once. All right, <laughs> workout is done and complete. And I'm so glad I did today's workout because I'm super sore. I can barely even like sit in the toilet. You guys TMI, but every time I feel like I have to sit in the toilet, I feel like I'm going to topple over, but I literally pushed myself because I was going to skip today because of how sore I am. 
And I said to myself, just do it, get it over with. You'll feel so much better after, and I'm glad I did. It sounds weird, but for some reason, I feel like today's workout was a little bit easier than the first two days. And then also, I feel like my muscles feel so much better. Like, I'm still really sore, but I don't feel like I'm as sore as I was this morning. It's weird. I don't know. But when I was working out, I just, the, my muscles just felt really good. So I'm glad that I worked out. But anyways, it's 12.53. I need to get me and Madison some lunch. Don't know what I'm going to get for us, but I'm going to make us a really quick lunch. And then we're going to go to Kroger and Dollar Tree. That is the plan. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit in Dollar Tree or Kroger, as long as it's not super crowded. But I'm on the road back to my healthy fitness journey because I have a tendency of like getting super into like eating better and working out. It'll last like a month or two. And then I go right back down the rabbit hole of eating fast food and drinking way too much wine. So I wanna get my muscles back. My muscles are completely gone. So time to get my muscles back. Now I'm in carpool lane. I'm going to grab one of the balloons and I'm gonna tie it around his little stuffed animal that I got and put it in his car seat. So once he gets into the car, he'll see his little stuffed animal with the balloon. And then I still have that little um, heart box of chocolate that I bought him. So I'm gonna give him that as well once we get home. And then that puppy that I previously bought him that I was supposed to give to him, I'll ask him if he wants to keep it or give it to one of his friends. And then maybe we can just give it to one of his friends. He does have like two play dates this weekend. So maybe he can just give that little cute stuffed doggy to one of his friends. So let me grab the stuffed animal really quick. All right, so this is the balloon I got for him. Just a red little balloon that says Happy Valentine's. And then this is the cute little stuffed animal. It's a giraffe. It's really hard to see, but he has a little red bow here. So that is what he's getting for Valentine's. I know you guys are probably like, I thought you got him that puppy from him, from Dollar Tree. But like I said, he really wanted a dinosaur. They didn't have the dinosaur. So I just got him this. I'm gonna wrap it around his neck, I know. Horrible, I'm strangling the poor giraffe. But I need to tie the balloon on him so it doesn't fly away when he opens the door. What is wrong with this string? Okay, so let's just tie it, and then I'm gonna put it in his seat for him. He's gonna be so excited, and then hopefully he won't be upset that I didn't get him a dinosaur. And there goes his little Valentine's gift. So he has the giraffe in his car seat with the balloon, and he's gonna be so excited. And then Madison, she got a balloon too, and she got a pink balloon. It says, Happy Valentine's. You like your balloon, honey? We love it so that's hers and then i'm gonna give her her little pillow and chocolate once we get home are you ready for your last valentine's surprise yeah yes uh, i saw what it is but but but, yeah, but you hided it too fast so i know i don't know okay you're gonna sit down for this yeah you're gonna get really close huh all right sit close your eyes open your hands Leave them closed. Do not open it yet. Don't open. Don't open. Okay. Open your eyes. Whoa. You got some dino chocolates. Can I eat them? You can have one today. And then Madison got... Maddie, look. Maddie. You have a unicorn of chocolates. Yay. So you guys can each have one. Okay? Okay. guys so now i am done putting my ring light together it, it was super easy to put together i thought it was gonna be complicated i thought i was gonna need like a screwdriver or something and i did not if i'm able to put this together anyone can put it together but now i want to show you guys the before and after so this is how it looks right now right now i just have my light on here in the loft and then i have the blinds open but it's super overcast and cloudy so there's pretty much no sun coming through those blinds but yeah i have the blinds open and then the light on so now i'm going to show you guys how it looks 
with the ring light. I'm actually going to lower down the brightness on my phone so you guys can see how it looks. But just turn on the lights. And uh, that's how it looks with the ring light. That is such a huge difference. And I'm so excited to film my first sit down video. Tomorrow, I'm actually going into my first sit down video. I have some stuff that I bought from Walmart that I've been wanting to do like a sit down haul. So look out for that video. But I also want to show you guys super quickly what I got Robert for Valentine's. So you did see him just pop in like two seconds ago, but he had to leave again. But I got him a Valentine's card and he likes to be cheesy a lot. A lot of times he'll say like cheesy sayings to be funny. So I found this Valentine's card at Dollar Tree. I thought it would be perfect for him. So it says bear hugs for the one I love. And that's how it looks on the outside. And then when you open it up, it says, I love you more than I can bear. So I still have to fill it out, but that's how the card looks. And then his gift is in here. And I got this really cute Valentine's box from um, Walmart. I think it was like two or three dollars. So I still need to put like tissue paper in here. I don't have any tissue paper, but when he opens it up, this is going to be his little gift. Like I said, we don't do anything big and extravagant for Valentine's. We do something very small. So this is what he's getting. So I got him this face wash by Harry's. It's a really good brand. And I think I got him stuff from this line for Christmas and he really loved it. So I got him face wash because he's always using mine and I don't want him to use mine anymore. So he has his own face wash now. And then I got him a bar soap from that line as well. And it smells really good. I would have gotten him the body wash, but he already has like two body washes. So I decided to get him a bar soap. And then I got him a bag of Dove Heart chocolates. Mm. I also got him a pack of Twizzlers. Yeah. And then the last thing in the box, I got him just this Nike like workout shirt. He likes to wear these when he goes to play football. He plays football every Sunday with a group of guys. So I just bought him this and it's like gray. It's like a grayish blue. I thought he would like that. So that is his Valentine's gift. Now I need to go get some tissue paper and put the tissue paper in the box and then also fill up the car because I haven't filled up the car there yet. It's a living history society. What? We're gonna look at all these old little cottages or whatever they're called. These old little pile things? Pile things? A pile? What? The Indians came and attacked them as much as they The Indians came and attacked them? Mm -hmm. They're nice and dirty. Mm -hmm. um, can we go inside? <laughs> oh no, it's all muddy. Look, Ryan, come back here. It's really muddy, so be careful. park we take the kids to the park it's saturday so it's a really nice day outside i don't really need this sweater i think it's like in the 60s almost 70 but it's really nice out here there's a, a lake back there super pretty and i left my sunglasses at home so now i'm suffering coming to swim She wants to jump in. She loves the water. Hey. Ryan, be careful. Hey. Maddie, you love the sand? Say, Daddy, take me to the beach. I want to go to the beach. Hey, <laughs> She's trying to wipe it off. Just, now it's all over her clothes. I mean, I'm at the water. It's kind of crazy. Is, is the water cold? Yeah, it was Sam. Yeah. So what, you're not allowed to go past that yellow thing? Oh my gosh, she is going to be a huge mess. Ryan, don't put your feet in there because you have shoes on. Ryan, back up now. He's going to get me. Hi. 
Hi. You're going to climb up? Be careful. Everything's wet. I don't want you to fall. Can you go down the slide? Yes. Here we go. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on here super quickly to close out this vlog. I never finished vlogging on Sunday. All I did was vlog when we went to the park and the lake. We ended up going out to lunch as well, but I did not vlog that. I only vlogged, like I said, at the park and the lake and that is it. So it didn't have an ending. So I want to jump on here super quickly to close out the vlog. I want to say thank you so much for watching my weekly mom vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.